Hey, what's going on guys? It's Willem over here. I hope you're doing well. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Well, belated anyway. Today I got something special for you here on Warframe. We got the EOS Prime Armor. The base versions you can buy off the market. However, these ones you get from Baroque Tier. Otherwise known as the Void Trader. Or as I like to call him, Baroque Tier 4 Interception. As that's where I farm my ducats. Now a little about this, the base version is one of the first two armor sets that was ever released on Warframe and it is currently the only Prime armor set that you can get without Prime Access. But unlike other Prime cosmetics that you get from the Prime Access, this is almost 100% the same as the plain one other than the fact that it has this Prisma-like effect whereas Prisma has this bluish tinge this has got a more base yellowish to it and somewhere around the wavelengths but we're not here to compare Prisma and the Prime and I don't know whether or not this is actually a real Prime because it's called the Prime EOS and not EOS Prime like the other Prime accessories and weapons and stuff so this might fall under a different category but anyway, let's compare it to the base version first so you have something to compare it with now the base one compared to the other armor pieces it has a lot less flair if anything it is the simplest armor set that there is. Not too flashy, but just about there enough for someone to notice if they take a good look at your Warframe. And instead of leg plates, you have spurs. Now let's take a look at the Prime version. As you can see, they're a lot noticeably different. Still the same structure. You can say they pretty much had the same in-game model. It's got this shiny, wavy light-like effect to it, similar to the Prisma cosmetics. The primary color and the energy color effects of what color is gonna shine out. But what makes this so special? Why can't you just get another armor set that's more flashy? Is it worth the freaking ducats? I'll show you. If you set the energy color black, whatever primary color you put into it, it's gonna come off metallic. So you can come up with different shades of gold, silver, or chrome. So you have yourself a pretty simple armor set at the same time with a little hint of flashy to it. Now why is this good? Other than the fact that less is more sometimes works great here on Warframes when it comes to customization, with an armor set like this, you could look cool while at the same time not cover up a lot of detail on your deluxe skin or on your plain Warframe. You didn't spend hundreds of plat on a deluxe skin and color palettes just so you can cover it up with armor pieces, right? I mean, I do that a lot and I don't have a fashion sense myself, but look at this. Also another note, on the spurs, I find that they're pretty underrated as cosmetics because it doesn't cover up a lot of details on your legs, but it's whatever you want really, it's your game. But just look at that gold though. Here, I'm comparing it side by side with the regular one. So yeah, if you are eyeing this set, you may have to wait a while for it to get back because these were just re-released last weekend, but other cool armor sets will be re-released too. The total cost of this set would be about 355 ducats and 225k credits. That's 125 ducats for the chest plate, 50 for each shoulder pad, and 65 for each spur and each armor piece costs 75k credits for each one. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching. But yeah, let me know what you think about this armor set and about this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think or if you have any suggestions, what do you wanna see? And as always, if you wanna see more, please feel free to subscribe. New videos every week, have a great one.